In recent times, India and Saudi Arabia's relations have grown with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman visibly striking the right chord. The Ministry of External Affairs described Prime Minister Modi's visit to the kingdom in 2016 as a turning point that took the strategic engagement upward, while Saudi Arabia honoured Modi with its highest civilian honour, the King Abdulaziz Sash. India's ties with Saudi Arabia is tricky considering the latter's relationship with Pakistan. Saudi Arabia has been accused of backing terrorists alongside Pakistan. Saudi Arabia reportedly bankrolled Sunni extremist groups through Pakistan to recruit fighters for Afghan resistance to Soviet occupation in the 1980s. The groups fighting India in Kashmir had links to these fighters. In 2019, before Modi met the Saudi Crown Prince, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan had issued a joint statement that not only praised each other for the achievements and sacrifices made in the war against terrorism, but also underlined the need for avoiding politicization of UN listing regime. This was considered as a reaction to India's attempts to get Jaishi Mohammed leader Masood Azhar sanctioned under UN Security Council Resolution 1267. Fast forward to 2023, the Saudi Crown Prince joined India in opposing terrorism and asking countries to stop supporting terrorism against other nations to dismantle terrorist infrastructure wherever it exists and act against terrorists. Saudi's relationship with India is not without reason. The kingdom is one of the largest trading partners of India and India is one of the largest markets for Saudi exports. There are more than 2.5 million Indians working in Saudi and India has the world's third largest Muslim population after Indonesia and Pakistan. Hence, there is inevitably a religious cultural aspect to the ties. Mohammed bin Salman's latest visit to India comes as Saudi Arabia seeks to shift from its oil-dependent economy to other emerging areas to boost trade and investment in the country. The two countries agreed to set up a joint working group to channelize the $100 billion investments promised by the Saudi side during the Crown Prince's last visit to India in February 2019. Earlier, Mohammed bin Salman attended a meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden to announce the India-Middle East-Europe corridor project. The project proposes to boost trade and investment, energy and digital cooperation and connectivity between India, West Asia and Europe. Moreover, India and Saudi Arabia agreed to link their power grids, underscoring a deepening energy alliance that could significantly boost the reliability of power grids in both countries and foster economic development. India has been exploring linking its power grid with those of Saudi Arabia and the UAE through subsea cables from its west coast and with the power grid of Singapore from the east coast. Another factor that may have prompted the Saudis to strengthen ties with India stems from the strain in its relations with erstwhile ally and Gulf neighbour, the United Arab Emirates. Saudi Emirati ties have strained as they struggle to establish supremacy in the Gulf Cooperation Council. India enjoys strong ties with the UAE. Now that India is developing its ties with Saudi Arabia, this only expands its options in the Gulf and the Arab world. In 2019, after visiting Pakistan, Mohammed bin Salman took a brief stop in Saudi before arriving in India. This year, Mohammed bin Salman's refusal to club his visit to New Delhi with a trip to Islamabad shows his keenness to focus on India and move away from the practice of looking at the relationship through the prism of Indo-Pakistan rivalry, which has reportedly upset Pakistan. India's growing relationship with Saudi has apparently made Pakistan feel like a helpless spectator. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.